Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today is going to be the fourth and perhaps the final video in the Alpha Easy Military versus Impost series. Now before we get started, I'm going to tell you, guys, we're not here to crush companies. What we're actually trying to do is get the companies to see the problems with their products, produce better products for the Imcom and preparedness communities. That's what we're trying to do. The channel says it like it is. If the product is great, we'll say that. If it's not, we'll say that. If it's good, but it can be improved, we'll say that too. And with all that, I say, you asked for it, here it is. My unbiased, honest, heart-crushing opinion on these two systems. So let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. If you haven't watched the first, second, or third video in the series yet, I'll put a link right here so you can check those out before watching this one. Since the beginning of the series, two new videos have come out which support some of my own findings. I'll put a link to those here so that you can take a look at them and make up your own mind about their findings. Now since it appears that I'm going to be reviewing a lot of different comms gear on YouTube, I thought that I would adopt a 5 star rating system. So for the Alpha Easy Military and the Chameleon Impasse, we're going to be looking at quality, materials, performance, ruggedness, ease of use or deployment, uh, documentation, support, and costs. So let's start off with hitting quality and materials at the same time. Starting with the Chameleon. An enormous amount of energy has gone into the engineering, the materials and the craftsmanship used in building this system. The result is not only beautiful, it's functional and rugged as well. From a quality and materials perspective, the chameleon is very much like a Bigoti Veyron. And for that reason, I'm giving it 5 stars for both quality and materials. Although similar in design to the Chameleon, the Alpha is constructed using parts commonly found in a home improvement store, giving it a rather homebrew look and feel when comparing against the Chameleon. The materials themselves aren't bad, however, combining the materials with the quality issues we've seen along the series, I'm going to give 3 stars for the materials and 2 stars for the quality and quality issues. If you've been with the channel long enough, you know that these type of rapid deployment antenna systems are compromise antenna systems. With their primary design goals being rapid deployment and portability. So we're not comparing them to full size antennas, we're comparing them to one another. From the map plots, you can easily see the similarities in both of these antennas. Now after testing both of these systems for weeks, I came to a couple of points that I, I can't actually explain. Although DX stations, coverage and reception seem quite similar, there's a noticeable lack of intermediate range stations with the Alpha Easy Military. I'm hoping to get feedback from both Alpha and Chameleon, as well as comments from the viewers about why this might be the case. Even with an open question like that, both of these antenna systems have at times shown excellent results. With the Alpha sometimes falling behind with intermediate range communications, Based on this, I'm going to give the Chameleon 5 stars and the Alpha 4 stars. Durability is defined as the ability to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Once again, I remind everyone that this channel has firm roots in emergency and disaster communications. So we have extremely high expectations for a product's durability and survivability during deployment. In the very first video of the series, I voiced my concerns about the set screw and ferrule in the alpha match. So it was with great disappointment that I saw the problem materialize in this customer's video. I also voiced my concerns about the type of wire used in the Alpha Easy Military system, which showed extreme signs of degradation in the climate that we have up here. On the other hand, you find videos like this on YouTube with Chameleon running over the hybrid with a truck. And I just think to myself, you know, 
how can some other company compete with this? With these things in mind, I'm going to give Chameleon a 5-star rating, which goes along with quality and materials. Now, Alpha Antenna has shown us that the Alpha Match can survive a shotgun blast at 30 feet with birdshot. Admittedly, that is pretty cool. Now, I was going to give four stars for durability, but because that ferrule and set screw are an intricate part of the system and prevent the rest of the system from being utilized, I'm giving it three stars. With the hope that Alpha is going to find a better system for the ferrule and set screw in the future. Throughout the series, you've seen me deploy these antennas in a variety of different places and scenarios. Both of these systems were designed with portability and deployability in mind. Having the ability to set them up in either in fed configuration or as a freestanding whip makes these invaluable to the field communications operator. Because of their simplicity and deployment, I'm giving both companies five stars, but I'd like to see more deployment options from the Alpha. Having come from the broadcast communications industry, I can tell you that documentation is absolutely critical to me. Having written thousands of pages of technical documentations for large public broadcasters, I know and understand the importance of quality documentation to the end user. This should be no different in the emergency communications or preparedness communities. Well, here's one example. How many times have we bought something from Amazon? Let's say it's a Biofang radio, for example, only to find a user manual that's full of Chinglish, bad English, and can barely be understood. Would we take that company seriously? Of course not. So it's my personal opinion that if a company can't provide excellent documentation for its products, that company shouldn't be taken seriously as a major player on the market. Alpha's documentation is weak at best, but they have made improvements during the series. On the other hand, Chameleon's documentation is excellent and it is what you would expect from that company. Generally speaking, I'd like to see more deployment examples, configuration benefits, maintenance procedures, and certainly fewer disclaimers. Finally, I hope this rambling has justified the two stars that I'm giving Alpha and the five stars I'm giving Chameleon. Now, I have absolutely no way to show you how well these companies have done with customer support. Other than to tell you, I have done everything I can to annoy these two companies with the most ridiculous of questions whenever possible at all times of day and night just to see the response. And here are some of the questions. Number one, how is matching achieved in your product? Number two, what kind of wire do you use for your elements? Number three, what is the casing made of? Number four, what deployment options do I have with your product? Number five, is your product waterproof? Number six, can it be submerged? Number seven, do you have a data sheet for the element wire? Number eight, how do I test the whip for continuity? Number nine, why are the whip sections so long or so short? And number 10, the center antenna pin on my radio burned using your system. Do you have any idea why? Well, although Alpha is sometimes misleading or vague about their answers, I think both companies did an excellent job with support. So I'm happy to give five stars to both companies. How do we estimate the value of something? I mean, honestly, it's really difficult to understand what something is worth. Well, the best way we have to come up with the value of something is by doing the research. And doing that research is what these type of series are all about. So let's start with the impasse. 
you can't actually find the impasse in the Chameleon webshop. That's because it was a special package put together for this channel. The package includes the hybrid micro, the mill whip, the dipole jaw mount, and of course the wire element, which doubles as a counterpoise. This basic kit is 299 bucks. You already know about the upgrade options, so I'm not going to go into it in this video. So what do you get for that 299 Well, you get all the quality and engineering that you've seen throughout this video series. And then we have the Alpha Easy Military Gold, which is a complete package including the Alpha Match, the Millstick Whip, the Tripod, Counterpoise Kit, Jaw, Clamp, and so on. It comes in at 449 bucks, and they offer a discount for Survival Tech Nord subscribers. But still, you have to ask yourself which one is a better value. And here are a list of things which will certainly help. Number one, ignore marketing buzzwords like tactical, military, special, imcom, or envis, especially when they're used to describe the names of products. Number two, focus on the specifications and documentation. If there aren't any or they're very vague, it's a red flag. Number three, break package prices down into their individual product prices. There may be something you can remove from the package that you could build yourself, giving you the same functionality but saving you money. Number four, ask the manufacturer for details. Ask very specific questions, and if you don't get very specific answers, it's a red flag. Number five, before you start investing any money in anything, identify your own communications requirements, then match those requirements to the product you're considering purchasing. Finally, guys, here's a bonus tip for you. If you're relying on YouTube reviews to decide whether or not you like a product, consider this. If a YouTube reviewer has his comments disabled, that should be a serious red flag to their credibility. So I really guess there's nothing else to do except add them up. With Chameleon, we only had one issue overall, and that was a problem with the element wire uh, at minus 20 to minus 30 Celsius. The problem was resolved. They sent me a new wire, and they're upgrading the wire in their production. And with the Alpha Easy Military, we had the problems with the ferrule and set screw, quality of the wire, whip continuity, and the documentation. What I understand is Alpha is coming up with a new solution called the Alpha Recon. Make sure to check out all the links and supporting information in the description. Go to the survivaltechnology.net website as well as our G Plus community for images, video, and uh, supporting information. And that brings us to the end of the video. Remember guys, if you think we're doing a great job on the channel, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know someone who you think might enjoy this video, please share it with them. With that, I say rock and roll, and thanks for watching.